All right, so we're back. We're gonna do just an extension here. I wanted to show th just this pin and how it works. So we found a couple holes over here that have been holding some fish. And, uh, and so what we've done is we've you know, positioned ourselves where we're just a little bit upwind of it and we're down current, which is the ideal spot to, to position yourself. And so now we're gonna get this stick it pin or this is, this is actually a wing anchor. This is a stick it pin makes them. This is a wing anchor. There's a, there's a variety of these things. And literally just shove it down in the ground a decent amount of force to it. And that's there, right? You can you can anchor. We're in a 21 foot boat right now. Ooh, Obviously, with I'm hardly, on, baby. With I'm hardly on. any winds, it doesn't really matter. But uh, even if it was windy, this this sticket pin or this wing anchor will do a surprisingly good job on on. Hey, while you're us, down there, why don't you help me release stuck. my trout here? You're on your own. Look at this guy. lunker coming in, baby. Oh. Look at that, Cody. You don't have to move the camera. Bringing in trout. Why we're anchoring? If you guys missed it, Luke mentioned this is an extension. Sure. We um. We're out with Freedom Boat Club in, in a boat without a trolling motor. We had a lot of, of both the public and of course our own insider members who, who say, hey, I'm part of a boat club or I have a boat without a troll motor. What's the best way to go out there and consistently catch a bunch of fish, especially you got your family out there, friends or coworkers and just want to, dog <laughs> God, this place is hot. Uh, just want to have a good time and so we're doing it. We're in a new area that we normally wouldn't really fish because a lot of times we might be closer to the mangroves or if you've been listening to our podcast, you know, we've been hitting the docks up pretty hard and this is just a little flat. We did some trolling. So we got our boy, Will here, Captain, Captain Will, going on, guys? just uh, trolling us down this uh, grass flat. As soon as we found an area where we were doubling up, we stopped. And now, as you saw, we put the little anchor pin down, oh, not much wind here today. But even if there was a wind, I think that thing would, uh, would hold this boat. Nice little uh, cobia that we're in here today. Yeah, and so what we're doing is we're just fishing, uh, fishing the, the potholes. What we found uh, just after doing a little bit of trolling is that the fish oh. were holding on the deeper Man, sides. Right there next to the boat. And particularly, they're holding in the little potholes and the little troughs that are right along the, the edge of the grass. and. Um, and so I'm actually throwing a Slam Shady that the tail has been bitten off. And, and I've got Slam Shady 2.0. That, that has been working best, better than anything. This is yeah, Luke's been out catching me here without a tail on it. Four casts in a row. And the reason for that is, you know, fishing the holes, you want the bait to get down deep. And, uh, and the, the paddle tail is a little bit of, you know, just water drag. And so just without the tail, it actually dives down faster. Nice little so trout. This is a little bit, little bit bigger. They're growing. But I mean, how much fun is this, guys, gals, for the kids, for the family? Man, I know most of us finally get a, a day like today. It's just beautiful out. Just want to go out there and catch some fish, get some tight lines. And occasionally you'll see some nice fish. I mean, you know, we see, oh, right when it, on the drop, I got a strike. So you even see cobia, uh, some nice redfish will come on these, uh, these flats. Earlier in the first version of this, when we were just trolling, got bluefish, ladyfish, Triz out, man, that uh, that tailless. For those of you that have tried the Slam Shitty 2.0, don't give up when you lose the tail. I'm always kind of hoping something bites my tail off. Luke is uh, out Got him. all of us. <laughs> That's five well, in I a see row. Your, and that thing has got pretty good uh, aerodynamics. Well, there, we're doubling up. Well, that's a nice one. Yeah, there's a lot of trout in there. Oh yeah, dude, they're just loaded in there. You want, okay, there's yours. Yeah, and you can see these things in the water there. There's Lukies. Oh, I got a little lady fish. That's a nice little trout here. Yeah, baby. Slam Shady 2.0. You know this. It's a little bit better one. Yeah, and again, this is just a testament to the fact that you don't have to have like a, just a fancy boat to go do this. This is just a, this is a bay boat, no, no frills, no trolling motor. So Cody. They like that, huh? Still got my tail, huh? Who would have thought? I'd be hoping that I'd lose Ooh. a paddle tail on a paddle tail. Golly, I just missed one. Oh, there we are. Ah, Six ah. in a row. I missed a couple on that one. I thought I might be my cast to not catch something. This one actually feels a little bit, nah, it's the same size. Well, how much of this is the boat, dude, huh? Golly, they're everywhere. Solid fish. Yeah, man. Man, I, yeah, I'm just getting thump, 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 thump. So Wilt there, not catching as many fish, no Slam Shady, okay? 
Jeez, we gotta get you a pack, bro. They like the action. Yeah, no, they really do. Um, Luke, let's talk about that. The action. What are you letting it do? You letting it pop? Pop, pop? Well, right now I'm just getting down their face. <laughs> so, you know, without, without the paddle tail, there's no action at all. <sighs> Other than I, I'm basically just getting down deep and I'm just twitching it. I'm just bouncing on the bottom. Let me, uh... Well, compared to what I'm using. What do you got? A little mirror lure. Oh, yeah. Laughable. <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically... Trotter just sitting there teasing you, dude. <laughs> I'm basically, I'll, I'll show you in the water here. Is this is a, a tailless paddle tail? And so it's basically just, just bouncing it. I'm like just bouncing on the bottom like that. And just real, I'm just doing real sharp, small jerks. And they're coming up and popping it. And so the key is just to get it and, and get it in the hole. And the, knowing that there's a lot of trout in that hole right now. And just sit there and do those little small little twitches. And, uh, and eventually, oh, there you go, on. Will's on. Eventually you're gonna come up and, uh, and grab it. So let's see if we can go. I think this is, I think this will be seven casts in a row if I catch one. <laughs> I probably won't now that I just said it. But we'll launch it way out there in the hole. Do you lose yours, Will? No, he's off. Okay. Let it sit out there. Should Will nice Will's one. trout. Nice Ooh, one. I just missed one. There we are, got him. Seven in a row. Seven in a row. <laughs> Seven in a row. <laughs> got him. Oh, so I'm, yeah. I'm on. Oh, was on. Just a testament to the importance of kind of doing a little bit of scouting. We did some trolling, try to figure out where they were. Haven't done this type of fishing in a while. And uh, found them. And now just anchored down and just having a really good time. You guys are gonna this get is, to see how we do a. And this one's even. This is the biggest one. Do yet. our little ads here. This is the biggest. All one right, yet. guys, we're out here fishing for trout with the new Slam Shady 2.0. Luke, how many have you caught in a this row is, on this same lure? This is seven in a row, right? Seven here. in a row. And guys, notice there is no tail on the ooh, paddle ooh. tail. It has been ripped off. So don't ever throw your paddle tail out. Once you have no tail, look at that. Yeah, all seven have been without the paddle tail or without the. It's a the nice tail trout too, dude. It's a solid trout. It's a beautiful fish. You guys want a free, uh, free pack? Go to slamshady.com. Slamshady.com. Claim your free pack of these Slam Shady paddle tail lures. Even amazing <laughs> without the tail. Yeah, it's actually working better without the tail. Lately. That's crazy. It's, uh, getting down deep. Not hoping. If you're watching the podcast, you guys get a free one too. Slamshady.com. All right, let's see That's if we can funny. do eight in a row. So now you guys know how we do our, our video ads that you might see in your, your feed. Eight in a row. So cast, let it fall, let it sit. I'll oh, give it a couple. I got, couple. You got me. Oh, there we got him. There. <laughs> I got number eight. Oh, now, now I have no tail. <laughs> so uh, this will be interesting, Cody. Oh, I just lost him. Now I'm oh, tailless. Oh, man. I'll pick him up for you. Yeah, I get him, Will. So that was literally my, that would have been my eighth catch in a row. Oh, there we go. Dude, um, look at that. But the fact that I actually had one on, I think that counts. I, it just it just came off. I didn't I did not get a strike at least. So I lost my tail, Luke, as soon as it got out there and hit the bottom. Boom. Yeah, because they're they're holding deep. Looks like Will's got a solid one there. Yeah, they're holding deep, and uh, the key is just to get right there in the face. That's really funny. All right, so now we'll try. Let's see if we can at least get nine in a row. So nine nine at least hookups in a row. I now can't say catches because that last one got off. All right, baby. So, let it pop, sit. Pop, pop, pop. Start giving it a little action out there. Oh, oh, had a hit. Yeah, I'm getting little small hits. There we go. There we go. Double nut, baby. Nine, nine hookups in a row. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. These trout are thick. Maybe we here. should rename it. Is it not even a paddle tail? It's just the. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's the color, right? The color and just the. Oh, this is this is a little trout. We'll have to. We'll to, Mine's uh, bigger. We'll have to long arm this one. But yeah, a lot of it's, you know, a lot of it is a color and, and just the, the type of lure, as we said before, you know, works great as a paddle tail, but it works, it works just as good as, as a little jerk bait. Just the, this is just enough flex in this thing to have good action. And mm -hmm. I've lost a little bit more of my tail. So now it's about a two and a half inch nub, but I do believe it'll still work. So we'll go for, let's see if we can get double digits. Uh, hookups per cast in a row. This will be 10 if we at least get one hooked up. Oh, yeah, crazy. Uh, oh, Will's oh, on. Will's on. Oh, he's got a ladyfish. Oh, no. oh, crazy oh, how I'm well just... this no tail is doing. All right, Joe, get him. Oh, oh, dang it. Oh, I lost him. Now, at least got a jump. Do you have a lady or a trout? I think that looks like a ladyfish. 
And guys, this is all happening in this one pothole. We're all casting in the same little pothole. Oh, gone as soon as it hit the bottom. This thing is just loaded. It's a big old lady. All right, so Luke, let's talk about why this pothole, so someone can recreate this where they are. Well, we're on the inside. I remember you get to see this exact same spot. Uh, let's talk about why are all the fish congregating in this one little hole at this flat? Yeah, I mean, part of it's uh, it was explained in the in the weekly game plan. So we do we do weekly game plans uh, every week for our, our club members. It's the weekly, I guess. Yeah, and the uh, and it's every Friday, so it's it's basically talks about the recent trends and then looks at the weather. And the recent trends is we we've had a cold, you know, kind of a streak of cold weather, oh. and so that generally will push the the fish off of the flats. There we go, baby. And they'll oh, be going out nice to one. deeper yes. to deeper water. Ooh, this is, oh man, I didn't get one that cast. That was the first cast I didn't get a, at least jump one off. But uh, so anyhow, that's a nice trout there, Joe. Cody, so, check that bad boy out. So it's getting, it's kind of cold. It's on the cold spectrum. These fish are, are not up in the shallows. They're holding deep. And so right now, all of these fish, this is a giant flat that we're on, giant grass flat. And all of these fish are bas basically hunkering down in these little holes. So when you find one, you can often, get a bunch of them yep and yeah because i went i literally went 10 casts in a row where i at least got a hook up that was in, that's insane all right buddy oh there we are got another one this is this feels like a solid trout just hit all the way down. yeah yeah that's when they're smoking it yeah there's a bunch of fish in there no, that's not as big as i thought but it's a it's a it's a fun one at least no tail, guys. Another reason it's so important to let it go to the bottom. Yep. Because right when we got here and we were trolling it, we weren't having as much luck. And as soon as we started getting the bottom, it was like every cat. Look at it, I'm on now too. Another nice trout. You gotta be kidding, we triple up. Yeah, yeah. Will's yeah, on Will's once. One. Oh, Will just lost his <laughs> at the boat. Hey, look, let's get a yep. quick little quick little pick. I'll reel mine in quickly. Hey, Cody, check out this, uh, check out the, the nub on this. So this bait, this lure, I've been fishing it this whole time, even before this video, and uh, it has no paddle tail. Oh, just lost it. And then and here's mine. No paddle yeah, tail. No paddle tail either. And mine, yeah, yours, it's still even working with a lot of my, uh, my back end bitten off. <laughs> I think some puffers are down there too. They've been, those puffers will just wreck these soft plastics. Any soft plastic, I don't know. I have yet to find a soft plastic that is puffer proof. Yeah, unfortunately, those uh, puffers have teeth like piranha. Vicious. Oh man, just messed one. All right, let's see if this get another one on the on the drop. Nope, oh, got him. Man, it's on the drop almost every time. Yeah. This, this is, is loaded. Yeah, there's a bunch of fish here. Dang. And that's a good thing about just about you know wintertime fishing is that you know the the con is that it's tougher to find the fish. But but once you do find them, just like in situations uh, like I think this. You might have, oh, I got one right here. <laughs> right there. Dude, doubling up, baby. Look at Another that. Double. How many we caught? Is that 15 or more? That's a lot. Here, let's uh, let's hold up. We need a good thumbnail pick. Got a straight arm this one. This thing's tiny. All right, <laughs> Cody. Get in there, baby. All right, if you guys are listening to the podcast, right. like, what's this awkward silence and and why are these people holding holding 12 inch trout? smaller dinkers well you know what to me it's all fun people can laugh all they want <laughs> call them small man i'm gonna get the pliers off this guy he inhaled it you want to get around me cody yeah but really and that what it's all about yeah another another cool thing about this type of fishing is this something that anybody can do right like right now it's basically just cast out i'm just getting hammered down there is cast out into the pothole and just give the lure just a little bit of action and, uh, and they'll hit it. I got, uh, looks like something bumped my tail off. And so again, I'm just using this little nub, nothing fancy, kind of just absolute ton of fish with it. And as long as it's up there rigged and just drops down in the hole, they're hammered. And I think a reason why the smaller profile is actually working better is because right now there's a lot of small Check bait fish. That one. See how destroyed that thing is? Yeah, there's just a lot of small bait fish in the area. And, uh, and so this is actually doing a better job, not only is, is it getting down deeper, more efficiently, but it's also doing a better job at, at, at emulating the, you know, the prey that these fish are actually honed in on. All right, so letting it drop. Got him. 
and so like we're sitting here i mean the, <laughs> there's just fish in there like we have the we have the right bait right we're positioned properly as we mentioned before and we can just go catch we can be we can surely catch 100 fish out of this hole if we sat here and then as soon as this hole dries up there's another one 50 50 yards further down yep just and so this is the trend so you can go take anybody out here at any kind of skill level and just go out here and have a have a lot of fun and we don't have power pole we don't have a trolling motor yeah. oh luke your uh nope. line's caught on my oh my line oh there we go dog on see my rod tip just pop 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 a lot of fun yeah, this is a blast. So this is one reason I love wintertime fishing because you can really, this does work all season, but they'll, they'll obviously move around. And again, that's why every week we, we kind of explain where they are, but uh, it won't be like this forever. But uh, for right now, at least for the next couple of weeks, this, uh, this same type of trend should, uh, should be working. And obviously every, every Friday we'll, uh, we'll keep everybody updated. And yeah, if you're on an inside, remember. Exactly what to look Come for. on, what are you waiting on? Got Ooh, another one. Doubled up. Oh, I missed it. This is Dropped insane. Off. This really is. <laughs> There's a lot of trout oh, in one, this one hole. Yeah, they are just stacked in here. Cool part about this too is it takes all the pressure off. You know what I mean? Like even like we had our guest in town, right? Like we did the same thing. Yep. They loved, the, loved it. Oh, they, they loved, loved it. it. You know, they, they never even heard of a ladyfish before. And even though uh, a lot of us locals might call them kind of junk fish, for someone who just wants to get that tug. Man, they thought it was awesome, but it took all the pressure off. So now like, oh my gosh, we caught 30 fish. I'm on again right now too. And then by the time we went out to catching redfish and snook, which did take a little bit longer, even though we did catch them, it was like the pressure was all off and it made it so much easier to catch a slam. Yep. We got boats over here checking us out saying, "How? Are, what are these guys doing over here? Well, should be listening to the Salt Strong Podcast, all I gotta <laughs> say. Jeepers, join the Insider Club. Yeah, this is, I don't know how long we've been going for, but it is, I don't think I've had a single cast where I didn't at least get a strike. Oh, without a doubt. A majority of them were actually at least hookups, but every single one was a strike we'll at least. There, Cody. Beautiful speckled trout. Oh, Man, my lure is officially this one feels, annihilated. This one feels nice. Yeah, and it's interesting. Yeah, the the size hasn't really gone down as we've been doing this. We yeah, we have been getting some smaller ones, but this one uh, oh. <laughs> this one would be a keeper if, if it was seasonal. Oh, I'm on two. Double it up again. Dude, how many times have we doubled up? Yeah, this is this is awesome. Yes, yeah, so this this one would be a keeper if it was season. Guys, if you don't think you can do this, I'm telling you, you can. Even in a boat without a trolling motor, no power pole, we have a seventy-five dollar stick it pin, and we're here in their Freedom Boat Club boat, just absolutely oh, terrorizing yeah. these trout. It's all around us on the flat, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> They're all in the hole. Yeah, that's pretty funny. So Will's up on the front doing a little recon, and I'm gonna blame the fact he didn't have to slam Shady, but you know, we'll give him a little bit of break. All right, mine is officially kind of toast. It, it starts getting tough, and that's after 10, 15 strikes. Uh, I mean, you know, actually not strikes. Yeah. Landed oh, fish. Is, this one might be the biggest. I was using this even before we started ones. the podcast. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. See if I can get one more with them. I'm still using the same one. I've caught at least, at least 20, 30 fish on this thing. Yeah, you've been using that for a while. Oh, dang. Oh, thank you. Trout just don't seem to carry. <laughs> He's back on. Got another one. It's not as big as I thought, but this he's a solid moving. One. This one's probably it's another 17 incher. Oh, yeah. I just lost him. Like he swallowed this one good. I need to get the pliers out for this guy. I just lost him. Dang. Yeah, that was. A, I had a bigger one on. Of course, they're always a little bit bigger when you lose them. But I'm gonna give one more cast with this guy. If you guys can see how beat up that is, don't have to replace these things every time you lose a tail it also just goes to show it's more about the spot than anything else you get in a honey hole like this where you got feeding fish everything else is a whole lot easier which is why we created the insider club yes yeah, the whole purpose of the club is to is to make sure that you're dialed in on the right on the proper feeding zones like this because it does change right as, as weather patterns come through like last weekend you know, during the tournament 
it was the exact opposite conditions, so right. this, this wouldn't have worked nearly as good. Mine's officially toast. And uh, so yeah, every Friday we fill you in with, uh, with exactly what you need to know. Just a quick 10 minute or less video that covers exactly what you should look for, whether you're going after slams or if you're just specifically going for redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder. Uh, and then seasonal too with triple tail and, and tarpon when they come into play, we obviously uh, you know, fill you in on that as well. Yep. So guys, that's it. We're going to wrap up this one. Been a really fun one. Oh, Will's on. Will's on right behind you. Oh, Trout ever. Luke's back on. I might just go with no lure at all, see what happens. <laughs> but that's it. If you're listening to the podcast, thank you so much. Please, 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 please sub sub subscribe. Leave us a review. And if you're watching on YouTube, same deal. And then regardless of where you are, join us in the Insider Club. We're having a blast. We're here doing this every single week. We show you our actual spots, but more importantly, we show why they were good. And, and that's everywhere from Texas all the way up to Virginia, anywhere that you can find redfish, speckled trout, flounder, of course, snook down here, all of our favorite inshore species. If you just wanna go out there and catch inshore slams faster than ever and save a lot of money, because now we have discounts on every Every big brand you've ever heard of, including all the stuff we're using here, Daiwa, yeah, TFO, Shimano, Pan, yeah, you over, name it. Over 12,000 members now. We get, we're getting some really good discounts. Yeah, we got another one. Oh, gone. They're just on, uh, on all sorts of brands, and it's just going to keep growing. Your discount program is going to keep growing as the club grows, so you can save a ton. of Most people more than pay for their, their membership dues just from savings on stuff that they're buying anyhow. Yeah, it's Tyler right there. He didn't even see us. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thank you so much. If you want to join the club, it's completely risk-free. We have a, a 365 day trial, kind of made it a no brainer. And cause we're so confident it works. And once you get in and see what's there, most people say like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys have this private community. I can't believe you're showing all this stuff every single day, all week long. It is shortcut <laughs> central. If you want to go out and just get more tight lines, then join us in the club. You go to saltstrong.com to learn more. If you want to pick up your free pack of Slam Shady, as I mentioned, slamshady.com. These things work. Yeah, that's all we've been using. Like they, crazy. These fish are loving it. Dang. That's it, guys. You rock. See we you out soon. of here. See you in the next episode. Peace. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong, and have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures. We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.